step is to install curl and you copy that command and you paste it then you press enter how is already installed then the next step what we need to do is to install the visual, the graphical user interface or the user interface or in the other words the panel you just copy that and then paste Okay, our panel is, uh, we are done with the installing the panel. What we need to do is to do some changes with this panel before we continue with anything else. And I mentioned something here of how you can access this panel by uh, just typing HTTP, then your IP address, then uh, you put uh, the port which has been opened for the, for the panel. Now, for example, if your server IP is this 123.456.that, and then you put uh, put that with a port. Okay, now let's try out that. Let's open the browser here. I'm going to copy the IP address. Okay. I paste that. Then six five four two. Okay. Hope you can see that our panel is active. What we need to do is to type in the credentials. The the username is always admin, and then the password is always admin by default. Okay. Now what we need to do first is to first change. Uh, is to first change uh, the password of this panel okay you type in the usual password is always admin admin and then you type in your, your new username like i can say scott ug and again the password i can say against scott ug but don't do what i've done because it's kind of risky and then we can change in we can change uh, the title of that panel you can name it scott ug okay then we can say also change the statistics update to at least one uh, to, uh, that second at most one second and then we can click this update okay you can see you can ignore that then we log out then you log in okay then you click save Hope you can see that we are into our panel and uh, when we try to create accounts here, maybe if I'm to show you if I to create accounts, you can see that I can create an account with the remarks strategy. I want a VMS. If I want maybe something else, then I can select it. But for this purpose of this, I'm going to select a VMS. And then uh, as well, you can see if I type, if I select WebSocket, it will request for the path and then if you look at uh, if I activate TLS you're going to see that I need the domain name I need the certificate of those domain name and the key okay now this is what you are going to cover next for that you can type in anything but after this this is what we are going to see in the next episode of this video okay let's go back to our server and do that very fast okay we can clear all this okay then we come back our next step is to install uh, a search boot it's okay we paste that uh, sorry i missed one 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 step you paste that
Okay, then you install such boot. You enter Y. Okay, we are almost done. Then our next step is to get the certificates, but this thing is kind of tricky here. Let me copy it and then I paste it somewhere here. Okay, when you look at this command, it's certiboot, you are commanding it to get us a certificate um, um, to this and then you're seeing your email address here you look at that and then you you need to edit it to the way you're seeing mine here where you see email you replace it your email you replace it your email and then for the domain name you replace it with your domain name if i'm to show you here um you can see that i'm having uh, the script here it's having a uh, agree email then space your email address you type in then space test.example.com that is your domain name okay and after that you copy all this command you copy that and then you paste it into the server after pasting into the server you get this confirmation message as uh, congratulations your account has been successfully created uh, your certificate has been saved and then you copy all this you copy these lines them somewhere and then you come back to your server okay and then you come back to your panel remember we had created a panel somewhere okay what you need to do again is to add an account here like if i need this account to be maybe scottiji then i select it's a vms i select the port which i want maybe port 80 okay then i select web socket i type in the path you can type in any word which you want and then for tls you type in tls for the domain name you type in the your domain name which you've used okay and then for the certificate path you copy what you you paste what you copied like uh, here is the certificate for the full chain key that's what you paste there okay and then with the file key that is the same thing but it is a private is private key i'm going to show you where to get it from Okay, it's here. It's here. Hope you see it. As well, it is also in the server. But uh, you save it somewhere because at the end of the day, you'll clear those stuffs in the server and then you mess up with what to fill. Okay, because you need the same things when you're creating uh, an account. So let me do something here. Say that I show you something at the end. Okay, let me delete that M and then I click add. Our account have been successfully created, but when you look at the system status here, it's going to show us an error. Hope you're seeing. This error is coming from the account you have created having any error somewhere in the path because any error in the path results into any error in the whole configuration. Okay, I put back the 
m and we check if the error is still there so all i mean here that you should be very careful with what you fill in into your server hope you see that the error is no longer there okay i hope you guys have enjoyed this video meet in another video god bless you